G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. In this video we're going to be checking out Bodhi Linux. We'll be uh, looking at the website and installing it in VirtualBox. Checking out whether it's suitable for our under 900 megabyte download for a complete distro. So let's check it out. So here we have Bodhi Linux, uh, the website of Bodhi, Bodhi Linux. Thank you for taking the time to check out Bodhi Linux. The enlightened Linux distribution Bodhi is built on top of the latest Ubuntu long-term support release featuring the Moksha desktop. Here you will find all you need to know about Bodhi as well as links to additional resources. So we have uh, download here and you got a torrent here and also download here which will download directly from the Bodhi Linux website here. We won't bother downloading that as I've already done it. Bodhi Linux here, as you can see, 820 megabytes. So let's have a look at Bodhi Linux. Let's try Bodhi Linux without installing. So here we are in the live desktop of Bodhi Linux. And we have a welcome screen here. Welcome and thank you for trying Bodhi Linux, the minimalistic, enlightened Linux desktop. Bodhi is a lightweight Linux distribution that uses the Moksha window manager. Our philosophy is to provide a minimal base system. Users can install the software they want. Okay, so you will need an internet connection established to do the system updates or install software in Bodhi. So let's uh, get on with the install of Bodhi. And I'm just going to select the whole disk, which is what I'm going to do with every distro in this compilation. Let's just do all that. I think this is the same installer as the Ubuntu install. It's the Ubiquiti installer by the looks of it. Erase disk and install Bodhi. Continue. Australia Perth. Let's continue. Okay, that's the installation complete. Let's check out Bodhi Linux. Let's log into the system. And we get the same welcome screen as we did on the live environment. And let's have a look through the desktop of Bodhi Linux. Applications, accessories, leaf pad, preferences, AR and R. Graphics, e photo, internet, web. What is the web? What is this? About web. So it's just web. Okay. I like the fact that it says install site as a web application. That's pretty handy. Sound and video, pulse audio, volume control and system tools. So we've got the Bodhi App Center, which is an online feature. So then you can choose um, a category here, 
and choose what you'd like to install. For example, Office Software, LibreOffice, Abbey Word, GeneMeric, GeneCache, GNU Cache, is it? And you can go back. Uh, what else have we got? Multimedia. So okay, if we in if we select one, does it tell us how big it is? Got a big install button now. Doesn't really tell you how big the application is. Okay, so that's how you install applications. So there's not a lot out of the box uh, when it comes to it's very sparse. So that's the way they've, but they have said that's how they do it. Synaptic Package Manager is here. Now, if we search for VLC in here, let's have a look. VLC. If we mark that for installation, mark that. It'll mark all those, but it still doesn't tell you how much it is to install. Oh, here we go down the bottom here. 63 packages listed. 49 to install, upgrade, zero to remove. 80.3 megabytes will be used. So I suppose that gives you a bit of an idea. Let's unmark that. Mark. Unmark. So it's not going to... So you've got to do each individual one. Let's just close that. So that's an option to use Synaptic Package Manager if you need to know what you're installing and how much. There's a calendar there. Uh, you've got to click on that to close it. Audio, clipboard, workspaces, terminal, file manager, PCMANFM, and the Itbody App Center. So I think that's all we had in here. Quick launcher, settings, settings panel, themes, and system. About operating system, about Bodhi Linux, 5.1, bit of a scrolling thing going on there. Okay. So that is Bodhi Linux. Uh, probably not as many applications I, I would want to hope for 800 and something megabytes. But nevertheless, still a reasonably good desktop there. So let's shut that down and move on to the next one. So that was a very quick install and look around of Bodhi Linux. And obviously, once again, um, for the download size, there wasn't a lot there that would suit a user, a user out of the box with a complete um, desktop and, well, it's got a complete desktop, but not complete with the applications needed. So I found this on their blog. I think it's their blog. Oh, sorry, the wiki. And uh, Bodhi Linux 5.1.0 is the enlightened Linux distribution built on top of Ubuntu long-term support 18.04 release featuring the Moksha des desktop. So it's known for minimalism, resource efficiency, and user choice. So the team behind Bodhi Linux works to make the distribution as lean as possible and believes that the end user should be able to choose the applications that they want rather than have a bunch of pre-installed applications that are unnecessary. That's the goal of the distro is to have it as lean as possible and to choose the applications you want. Even though I'm doing this for um, a viewer request for downloading a complete distro under 900 megabytes, somebody out there might look at this and say it might be worthwhile giving it a go. So I've, I've, um, I've tried Bodhi a couple of times but not really got into it because uh, it's just a bit of a change in mindset because they have these what you call panels and so forth in there. Uh, was it panels or shelves? I think it's called shelves. And it's a little bit different, so you have to sort of open your mind up to Bodhi Linux a little bit, I believe. 
Uh, but yeah, they are sort of a lightweight distro, but um, they must put a lot into it um, just to get everything that people need. Um, and 900 megabytes really is is um, still pretty small when you put it into perspective of the size of other distros. Um, so it is pretty, st it is still very small, but when you're looking at downloading a complete um, distro with applications very much there out of the box, which is what we're aiming for. Um, yeah, Bodhi Linux doesn't quite fit that, but uh, it's close except for the applications. And there's a lot of people out there that like that. They, they don't like to have all this other stuff thrown at, all these other applications thrown at them that they really don't want. So that was Bodhi Linux. A very quick look around there at this distro, but it became very obvious to me uh, once I had uh, even had a look um, in the live environment, there wasn't much there. So I, I pretty much knew that there wasn't going to be a lot after installing as well. But we had a look around, a quick look at the install and a quick look around the desktop of Bodhi. It's always good to have a a sneak peek at uh, different distros because there might be some people out there that have never seen Bodhi Linux before. So anyway, it's on to the next one. And that's it for Bodhi Linux. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting and informative. And thanks for watching.